Hi, my name is Liz Robertson. I am the pastoral care worker at Greenford Baptist Church. One of the tools that we use sometimes when we're on retreat uh, to help us connect and hear from God afresh is to write out or draw a timeline. Uh, start from maybe when you first knew God um, and then from there to trace maybe year by year, whatever's relevant for you, and mark out um, significant times with God, things that he'd said to you at certain points along the way, maybe events that made such a difference to your relationship with him, uh, maybe prophetic words that were spoken over you that are yet to be fulfilled. And what we find when we do this exercise is that it refreshes our mind and brings back to our memory things that perhaps we had forgotten or at least not thought about for quite a while. And these significant milestones, they reignite what God had said to us at that time. And it's a great way of hearing from God afresh and reconnecting with him. A sort of, oh yes, I remember this now moment. And it is a good way of finding God sometimes when maybe it's um, a bit of a struggle because of circumstances, uh, maybe because our routine isn't its normal uh, thing and we uh, struggle with how life is for us currently. So have a go, if you want, to draw your own timeline, marking out where God has spoken to you in the past and see what he can say to you afresh as you reminisce with him. I was talking recently with uh, someone and we were talking about how easily distracted we are. I certainly am. And uh, I've noticed it increasingly. Um, I go to do something with good intentions uh, and get easily distracted and then find myself sometime down the line thinking, why am I doing this? I was supposed to be doing something else. So we were laughing about it, but also acknowledging that it can be quite a hindrance to um, connecting with God. Easily distracted. And I was reflecting on this Psalm uh, 23, where David is talking about his enemies. And we don't have enemies in the way that David had enemies, um, at least I hope we don't, where someone is um, pursuing you and uh, wants uh, the worst for you. But as I reflected on that, I reflected on what our enemies might be. And I thought about being easily distracted, being taken away. And our thoughts, our thought life can be like an enemy sometimes. Uh, we can find ourselves going down all kinds of cul-de-sacs that really are unhelpful. And uh, we wind up thinking things about ourselves and other people that really are groundless. Um, and it can undermine what God is trying to say to us. We can even think uh, wrong thoughts about God and how he sees us. And that's why it's so important to keep grounded in the word, keep reading scripture to remind us of the truths, um, as opposed to what our, our thoughts sometimes tell us about ourselves, about God. So in Psalm 23, 
talks about you become my delicious feast in the Passion Translation. So we're actually feeding on the Lord. And when my enemies dare to fight, you anoint me with the fragrance of your Holy Spirit. You give me all I can drink of you until my heart overflows. By reading his word, we feed on God and his is good sustenance. And our thoughts um, are conquered then as we focus on him and remember what his word says to us. He anoints us with the fragrance of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit helps us um, to focus on the right things. And you give me all I can drink of you until my heart overflows. So we benefit from it, but then two others uh, benefit as well because we then are able to encourage um, and build up, uh, maybe make a phone call and give some uh, encouraging words to somebody. Um, so that overflow from our own heart then impacts and benefits others. And as I was praying about being easily distracted, how I would turn to my phone to maybe genuinely want to look something up on the Bible app and then see a news item that catches my eye and then wind up going down all kinds of paths on the internet and wind up buying something and then find myself remembering actually I was supposed to be looking up something in the Bible and uh, we were laughing, as I said, about this, but it's true. It is a very um, easy path to go down. And especially on the internet, you can follow all kinds of channels uh, and uh, wind up spending a lot of time that possibly you may regret. And as I was praying, I, I sensed that God said, I understand. I understand and he knows how we are easily distracted. And that brought such comfort and encouragement. I understand. We don't have to explain ourselves to God. He understands. And this morning I was reading Psalm 139 again, in the uh, Passion Translation. And I was struck by the wording. I'll tell you, uh, I'll read it to you. Here we go. Lord, you know everything there is to know about me. You perceive every moment of my heart and soul and you understand my every thought before it even enters my mind. You understand. And then a bit later on, verse 5 says, You've gone into my future to prepare the way and in kindness you follow behind me to spare me from the harm of my past. Your hand of love upon my life, you impart a blessing to me. This is just too wonderful, deep and incomprehensible. Your understanding of me brings me wonder and strength. Your understanding of me brings me wonder and strength. And I thought, yes, that's exactly what happened. When I heard God say, I understand. It brought such relief and it brought encouragement and such wonder. Wow, he, he understands. And then strength, strength that, yes, I can do this. He gives me strength to fight my enemies, my thoughts, my easily distractedness. 
and I can improve. I can do this in him with his help. He strengthens me and I can reach for my phone and do what I originally intended rather than getting sideswiped into some um, uh, internet search that really is uh, of no consequence. And other such things. I'm sure you can think of other examples where you know you're distracted or your thoughts are telling you uh, negative things and you are demotivated. Let me encourage you today when you're aware of that happening to you, pick up the Bible, read some scripture, read Psalm 139, read Psalm 23. They are God's gift of encouragement to you today and stand on those truths because they are for you. God bless you.